Hello everybody. I have no idea, just like all of you, if we're going to be asked to put us any kind of covering over our instrument, but if we are asked to do that, I know a lot of you don't sew and we all know what our budgets look like, um, so it would be a very smart idea if we could figure out some ways that folks could make these things at home, once again, if we're asked to do this. So I thought a pillowcase would be a great idea because we all have pillowcases at home and they're very easy to purchase for families to purchase if they don't want to use one of their current pillowcases. Um, but this is over obviously over an ounce of sax and it looks like it would probably fit over a tenor as well. If not, you know, a king size pillow, pillowcase probably would. If you just put a little slit in the very front of the top of the pillowcase, the opening of the pillowcase, there's that little um, hem part in there. And I didn't take it all the way through the fabric because I was trying to reduce holes um, and air leakage. So I just put a We'll slit in the very front and I put a safety pin at the end of my two yards of ribbon and then I put that all the way through my pillowcase. All right and then you just pull your drawstring tight and tie your bow and then you have to figure out where your hands go that's the tricky part and that might you might want to practice um, when you're instructing your students how to do that. Um, it is Going to be a little bit different for each instrument. Um, I went ahead and put some holes in here before and it really doesn't matter where exactly the holes are because you can put all the way up to your wrist inside and you can move your hands around quite easily and then you would be able to play. And you're obviously going to want to put for a saxophone a little slit in the back for your neck strap as well but works just fine. You can see where the bell is. There's plenty of extra room so if this is something we're asked to do that's how you could get it on a regular um, sax, a uh, regular alto sax, uh, a clarinet, B-flat clarinet, oboe, um, any uh, small woodwinds. A larger woodwind instrument, we're probably going to need um, a curtain panel. And the reason that I say curtain panel, you could also just go get a few yards of fabric, but a curtain panel um, already has, the top is already folded over like how our pillowcase is so it's very easy to run a drawstring right through that and you could just sew the curtain panel together and I would uh, maybe and make it half the size or a quarter of the size that it is and just sew the straight line together and um, square it off at the bottom so you have once again another little drawstring sack and a, a full curtain panel is going to be more than enough length for a uh, bassoon or a bass clarinet, depending on um, if we are asked to do those types of things. So uh, we'll see what we're asked to do, um, but these are some tools if we're told that that's where the route we need to be going.